Hi everybody, this is Nick. This is my son Parker, who will be helping with the build. Lynn is videoing. I wanted to introduce everybody to the workshop that we're going to be using. So this is uh, Lynn's two and a half car garage. Um, we have some tools hung up there, and then I've laid out most of the stuff that we've purchased exclusively for the build. So we built the EAA 1000 tables, two of them, um, to start off with and uh, also built a, a specific table for our dimpler that, um, that is level with the table to, to help with dimpling the large sheets of aluminum. So I wanted to go over all of our tools and talk about um, what, what we're gonna be using for the build. So if you wanna come in, Lynn, and go a little closer. So we purchased the, the Milwaukee uh, drill and impact wrenches. Go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> okay, these had good reviews, so we're hoping that they'll do good for us. We have some spring-loaded Clico pliers. We know we'll be using those a lot. Sure. We have both the hand rivet puller as well as the pneumatic Stanley Pro Set XT2, also came uh, highly recommended. These are the aluminum brake pliers, just in case we need to bend some aluminum as well as fluting pliers. Lots of Clecos. We purchased uh, new Clecos from uh, Brown's Tools, and then we were also able to get some used Clecos from a local RV builder. Thank you, Rich, for those. We have uh, a blind rivet removal tool, so this is to assist in drilling out any uh, blind rivets that need to be removed without damaging the skin or enlarging the hole. We have a torque wrench that goes down to a low inch-pound setting uh, for the things that are required to be torqued. We have some counter-seeking drill bits with cages. These are the 120 degree number 30s. These were for counter-seeking uh, mostly the wing spars. Lots of different tools for deburring. We have a digital protractor. We'll be using that to uh, measure angles for attaching control surfaces. Digital level, laser level to be able to make sure that everything is true and straight. Um, we have lots of extra drill bits. We know that we're probably gonna go through a lot of those, so lots of extra drill bits. The uh, corner rivet puller for those difficult to get to rivets. The riv nut puller, this uh, attaches to the drill to allow us to pull the rib nuts. Heat gun for the shrink tubing. We have a grinding wheel with the, with the stock sprite wheel for some deburring and polishing. And then the DRD D2, I believe that's correct, um, dimpler. Okay, I think that's everything. We will uh, have another video coming soon with the delivery of our kit. Thank you.